All right, children, settle down. We need your attention, please. The inspector from Rome will be arriving any moment. I want to make a good impression. So listen very quietly and carefully to what he says. He'll be telling us some very important things we need to know about our beautiful country. Madam Principal, Madam Principal, the inspector is here. What? He's already here? He's early. Sit down, Roberto. On your feet! Buongiorno, principessa. Uh, good morning, Mr. Inspector. I'm the principal of the school. Let me introduce you to some of our teachers. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> uh, beginning here. Uh, well, which... What, uh, how many years is it now that uh, you've taught in our school district? Sixteen years. Hmm. Are you uh, up to date with the program uh, approved by the school ministry this year? Yes. Did you read the bulletin I sent to the school regarding childhood hygiene? Of course. Are you free this weekend? What? Well, Sunday really uh, <clears throat> is Mary, uh, St. Mary's celebration. Are you free? I have theater tickets. Ah. Uh, for what show? Offenbach. Ah, Offenbach is playing. <laughs> good. <clears throat> Fine. Uh, very good. Uh, beautiful. <laughs> well, thanks very much and uh, goodbye. Mr. I just Inspector. Have... <laughs> the good inspector has been sent here to explain to you about the proclamation of race which has been signed by the most enlightened Italian scientist. He will, and we're very honored to have him do it, demonstrate to us that our race is really superior. The best of them all. Sit down. Go ahead, Inspector. <laughs> <laughs> I'll explain our race. Is superior. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> Thanks. So our race is superior. In fact, I just come from Rome and uh, right this minute, to, to come and tell you, so there won't be any confusion, my friends, that our race is definitely superior. I was chosen uh, to deliver this message by racist Italian scientists in order to illustrate to you how superior a race we really are in this world. You may be asking yourself, uh, why did they pick me? I think the answer is obvious, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Who could you find that would be a more handsome specimen? I am the ultimate example of racial purity. You're impressed? Well, of course you should be. In front of you stands a man who's clearly descendant from pure Aryan blood, my friends. Take me. Let's start with the folks who say, what's all the fuss about? The ear. Why the ear? Well, take a look. Like fine china, it's perfectly formed. Above the earlobe, you find the oracle with the little precious pendant bell which you can wiggle with your finger. Or you can wiggle the entire ear. It's movable cartilage. Find two ears prettier than these and I'll leave here immediately. Of course you'll have to show them to me. In France, they dream about ears like this. Ha! Believe me, races exist. It's part of life. But I want to show you something about our particular race and it's really wonderful. Pay attention. He said inspector. Inspector. From Rome. Yeah, Rome. The belly button! <laughs> Take a look at this belly button! It's tied so hard you can't get it loose even with your teeth! Those racist scientists tried it and they ended up with lint in their mouth! This is an Italian belly button, kids, and it's part of our heritage! Check out this style, folks! Look at the muscles I have on me! Seps! Biceps! Triceps! The body's beautiful! And you got to admire these hips! They move right and left! Fantastic! Look how my legs operate! Children! Gentlemen and ladies, I must say goodbye now because I have to go. I have an appointment I just remembered and I really can't be late. I'll make an Aryan farewell, but once again before I go, the belly button! Goodbye, princess. I'll see you in Venice.